So we got Harry and Joran with us after what a fantastic performance. Um, for both of you, first games of the season, certainly first cursing games of the season. Start with you, Harry. How were you feeling after that? You were named shattered. the chairman's man of the match, if that helps, any? it? Bloody hell. Um, yeah, shattered. But no, I love being back out here. It's been long, to be fair, nine, nine weeks, I think, now. So um, it's not quite right, but keep going, don't you? I keep battling on. And, exactly. and Jordan, we've not had a chance to speak to you yet. It's signed on Thursday. Um, is that the type of performance that made you want to come to Curzon? I think, I think definitely. I think the gaffers touched, touched on it already that you know this season with this squad that we've got, we can sort of grind out results. You can come to places like Leamington, and you know it wasn't the prettiest game of football, but you've got to come here and adapt to the conditions, the playing conditions, and we've done that superbly today. I thought, and we fully deserved the win. And um, what's it like in there? Good, yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Um, dressing room gaffer starts going. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, we'll good. enjoy the wins. Well, listen, I'm not going to stop you from being part of that. Well done, from thanks for coming out, and well done. Well no, done, thank guys. you. Thank you. Cheers. Steve, we spoke in the week, didn't we, um, about how important today's game was, um, about pre-season and the last four games, whether that's just a purple patch or not, and whether this type of game would be a turning point. What, what are your thoughts then after that? I think the, that, that kind of performance um, just echoes what we've been talking about, obviously internally as well, about the group of players that we've assembled now. It's a group of players that want to play for this football club. Um, you saw that it wasn't a, a fantastic performance in terms of a style of football, because as a spectator, it was very hot and humid. The pitch was awful, sticky for both teams. And it was quite a, a long ball game from both teams. And we'd have got beat uh, badly like we did last year and I think when you look at the two results we've just put wrong from last year Darlington we got beat 3-0 physically you know dominated Leamington came to our place last year absolutely bullied us and we were probably the better team for patches of that game but we got bullied and we got battered and rightly so and I said I wanted to come here because these are the kind of places that off the back of a couple of good performances like we've just talked about you've got to come to a Leamington and get a result and I don't care how ugly it is it's three points and um, not many teams will come here and win 3-0 um, and I think a large part of that as well goes to Chris Renshaw I think he was outstanding um, I'm not saying that I felt like they should have won the game I, I don't think 3-0 flattered us you know but at the same point Chris Renshaw's made some unbelievable saves and kept us in the game at the right time and that gives the players a bit of a lift as well so when they're all fighting for each other like they've done there you know, 3 0 sounds great, it's the clean sheet. It, to get that away from home in any game in this league it is a real achievement, and uh, yeah, just immensely proud of them today. When you talk about that team spirit, and I think, well, it, you know, it's not um, unknown that we've got limited resources at Curzon, but the, the togetherness that you see. Um, is that is that the dif is that the difference from last season, maybe previous season? Huge difference. I, I always talked about you've got to create something in a football club that wins your points. It's not always about having the best talented players. You'll see some of the results today up and down the league. There's teams with far better resources, with better players, better CV players, but we've got a togetherness at the minute that you saw that kind of performance. It was outstanding, but it's it's right throughout the club at the minute that it's not just in the dressing room. Everyone's on the same page. Everyone works really hard. Um, I'm not your typical manager, you know, I am one of the boys and, and they, they've accepted the way I am. It's difficult for some people to see it sometimes because it's not always the most professional or the sort of the right way, but I am getting some out of these boys that other people wouldn't and, and we're like a bunch of best mates and I think when you've got that so early on, you can get results um, and, and it's you're doing it together as a group of mates and that's what it feels like at the moment. You, you heard the dressing room, it was absolutely rocking. Again, we're not going to start saying oh we're going to do things and win things but we've got to enjoy every win that we we, we take in this league because it's a tough league and um, yeah we we just keep it going now and see based on going back to your first point if we can come here and get a result it just shows that those little purple patches if we can get that bit of consistency we just put a bit of breathing space between us and a few of the teams at the minute so we're not looking over our shoulder at that black line and going oh where's our next win coming uh, and it's just a, a good time to, to be at the football club at the moment and when the players are doing that kind of performance the supporters don't mind travelling all this way and you know fair credit to them the magnificent well. nine i think they were calling themselves today were they? yeah mm -hmm. so and, and you know there's a guy there who's got a train uh, there's a bloke who's come all the way with his son in, a, in his car and uh, as a as a manager and a, a group of players when we've not got the the dominant support base that a lot of these clubs have even nine people they'll still out sing most of them you know there's a few gobby people in there that's where i get it from <laughs> 
but it's just um, it, it's fantastic that they've made the effort and, we, and again I say it all the time we, we can't thank them enough um, but it's, it's a great place to be at the moment. Just a final question we spoke to uh, Jordan very very briefly at the end of the game is it that type of um, team spirit that has brought a player like Jordan Lussie to the club as well? 100% um, Jordan wanted to come to our football club weeks ago I tried to get him in the summer um, but he's a, he's a lad that's got ambitions to still play full-time football and, and so we showed you should always play at the highest level as you possibly can as long as you can and, and unfortunately we moved on and then when we brought in some of the quality like a, a, a Luke Daly you know a Jack Dunn and Alex Curry and we've got Dale, um, Dale Whittam and Marnie we've got some real good quality players in there and he, he was ringing and saying listen what's going on I'm like, do you want me and I said look we can't do what we originally talked about and then in the end he said listen I want to come I love what you're doing and I want to play for your football club now, when you see he came on for what, 15 minutes, 20 minutes at the end, you know, I've, I've got to give a lot of respect to, to Paul's team here because what a lovely guy. He's one of the best managers I think I've ever come across uh, in football. And his team were the better team in that second half. And they'll feel a little bit hard done by on the score because of the attempts that they've had on goal. But when Jordan went on, it just changed it straight away for us. And having that quality in Jordan Mussey just sitting as a six, you can see his experience and his quality. And then just to see him in the dressing room, it's like he's been with us all, you know, since pre-season. So, yeah, it's a great acquisition for the football club. Um, and as I said, we're working on 17 players at the minute, and they're all, they've all got something to bring to the table. And um, yeah, it, it's uh, it's good to have them on board. It's, it's as good a time as I can remember being at the club, and um, long may it continue. Steve, thanks again for coming out. Congratulations on another dip, top result. And uh, we go again against Gloucester next week. Next one. Cheers, mate.